you have to walk on hair string on the judgment day well i mean there is this is interpretation everyone have his own but the muslim they believe there is something it's called as sirat al mustaqim and because the word sirat is not an arabic word it's an aramaic word so those abdul they come with their own you know fiction interpretation and they try to use the muhammad trying to explain If you go in the Quran, you will find that this word Sirat repeated many times. Almost 45 or 48 times. You know? Sirat, 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 Sirat. The second you ask him, what is this Sirat? They have no idea. Everyone have his own interpretation. Some they say it's a bridge. Some they say it's a rope. Some they say it is a, a building. Some, it, it, because it's, it's a theft. <clears throat> Who's next? Who's next? Actually, in even Allah he is on that bridge. Can you believe it? In Rabbi Allah Sirat al Mustaqim. How Allah is in that bridge? What he's doing there? And look what they translate the word Sirat, straight bath. This is the chapter 11, verse number 56. You go to the front chapter, the beginning of the Quran, chapter 1, verse number 6. Show us the straight way. Is it really straight way? It's not curvy? Isn't it? There's verses by Amr al Qais. There's many of them. And we, you know, if you have my books, you can see them all when they would, would they compare. Do we have any Abdul? Mayday, Mayday. Who is a Abdul? You know, when the when this Muslim guy he was talking to me, we have uh, fifteen hundred, and now we drop to twelve uh, sixty. Uh, look like people they like to see fight, huh? Hmm. Yeah, very peaceful people. They love fighting. <clears throat> you read, you read for me, you read. Okay, I'm illiterate like you. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He is illiterate. The Muslim, they say the Bible speak about him. He was illiterate. <laughs> the Bible speak about illiterate, false prophet. <laughs> they say we are illiterate because they are lying. They are saying we don't understand. So they claim that they do not understand. So they don't, they don't practice. And you know, one of the funny things about Islam, the Muslims, they say that the Quran was preserved. We ask them, what is the first verse Allah he gave to Muhammad? They say, read. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so the first verse Allah he gave to Muhammad was wrong? He said to him, read. Why he said to him, read? If do Allah knew if Muhammad knew how to read or not? Maybe Allah made a mistake. He thought Muhammad, he can read, but later he figured out that he cannot. And secondly, the Muslim, they say, if Allah wants something to happen, he say, be is going to be, which means will happen. Here we go. Allah says to Muhammad, read it three times. Still, Allah could not make Muhammad read. And if the Quran is preserved, so how chapter 1 in the Quran became chapter 96? They say to us, Prophet, he informed us to put, change the locations. But isn't this a corruption? And where your Prophet, he says that, show me. And shouldn't your Prophet, he follow Allah order? If Allah gave him this is the first one, who is Muhammad to make it at the end of the Quran? And when Allah, he came to Muhammad and says to him, read, do Allah knew that Muhammad knew how to read or not? If you do not know, what the point of saying to him, read? And look, the Muslim, they try to fix it. They says, proclaim. What proclaim mean? He Muslims, the word in Arabic, it's not even an Arabic word. It is, it is, 
Aramaic word. Iqra. Qarra wa ra'a. From you mood your lips for what you see. So the Muslim, they decide to fix it. <clears throat> they come and they say the proclaim. How he proclaim? It is an order. Proclaim what? He did not say anything to him yet. <laughs> you change the translator. You will find totally different interpretation. Translation, brother. Why? Because the Muslims are trying to duct tape Muhammad. Let us go to Hilali and Khan. Muslims, they like this guy. Read. Read. Okay, like read what? Did you give him anything to read? There's a bunch of Abduls once. They decided to get me busted. So they made a video. I forgot the name. Otherwise, it's going to be fun to play it. Still, Christian friends. Allah, he said to him, read mean, recite. Oh, okay. Mean recite. But recitation, it have to be something from the memory. This is the first word. He have nothing in his memory yet. So when you say to a person, recite, he have to recite something in his memory. Well, Muhammad did not receive any memory from Allah yet. What a crazy religion. And now Allah said to Muhammad, read. Did Muhammad, was, able, was he able to read? Let us see this guy. We have a Muhammad and trying to call us. I hear you. Go ahead. Are you a Muslim? I I I su 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 subscribe first to your to you to, to your. Yeah, okay. Thank you for calling. I'm not looking for a comedian. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muhammadan? He have the courage and the knowledge to call us about his prophet. Anyone? Anyone? Any two? Read! Read! And look, and look, even from the beginning, it's a stupid. I'll read and then name the one who created you from a, from a piece of thick con congealed blood. Have you ever heard of stupid, stupid statement? We are created from piece of dead blood? Is that how we are created? Is your God Allah a Hindu? He think we used to be beef? This is God now? He just start scratching his ass and look what he came with. He is a created man from a clot between two brackets. A piece of thick congealed blood. Like, what the heck? Between two brackets, now they're trying to fix it. They're trying to make it more understood. Brother Sitar, from the teeth of thick congealed blood. Are you sure? Yes, brother, we are very sure. Can we call Zach and Naik? Go ahead. Tiridim, tiridim. Tiridim, tiridim. Tiridim, tiridim. Christian Prince, I don't, don't call me. Hey, Zachary Naik, we are calling you because you are a doctor and we need now a doctor immediately. Christian Prince, I'm so happy that you are dying. Hey, Zachary Naik, I'm not dying. Don't worry. This is doctor. We need a doctor to, to for consultation. Christian Prince, I'm so happy that you are sick. 
Zach and Nike, I'm not think, I'm not sick, I'm not dying. I'm just going to ask you about a consultation. Because you're the you afraid you are calling me because you need a doctor. That means that a good time. Alhamdulillah, Allah is killing you. Zach and Nike, listen, Allah is not killing me. I am live on air and everybody is laughing at you. You are an idiot. Stop being an idiot. Be a doctor for one time in your life. Christian Prince, I can show you my degree. And I am a doctor. I graduated from India. Zach and Nike, I don't know where you got it from, but you are an idiot. Unless you prove me wrong. Okay, go ahead. So when Allah, he says, he created the man from a clot, and that is a congealed blood. How in the world this has happened? Christian Prince, first of all, show me your faith. Show me your faith. Okay, so Zach and Nike, we are talking about the Quran now. What does this have to do with my face and my bum? And what? What's wrong with you? Christian Prince, First of all, I'm busy right now a meeting, and I can talk to you because you're a cafeter. Like Zach and Nick, a second ago you were a doctor and you are excited, and I'm dying, and I am sick, and it's, you are thanking Allah for my death, and now you cannot answer how in the world the Quran says such a stupid thing. Christian Prince, first of all, I'm going to warn you. First of all, I want to invite you to Pakistan. In there, we are welcoming you very warm welcoming. Yeah, Zach and Nick, you want to invite me to Pakistan? What will we do there? Are we going to go to uh, <clears throat> to Muta? Christian Prince, behave yourself. Muta is forbidden. Hey, Zach and Nike, he allow it. Exactly. And then he forbid it. Exactly. And then he allow it. Exactly. And then he forbid it. Exactly. And then he forbid it. And then exactly. It's what wrong, it's what's wrong with your prophet? Why he allow it? Forbid it. Allow it. Forbid it. Allow it. That's mean he is confused. I'm confused about it too. So we can do it. Christian Prince, I'm very respectable man. I don't do Muta. I don't women. Zakia, you rent women. Christian Prince, Muta is a form of renting. So when you remove Muta, you are renting. Huh? For how day you can rent her? It's the band. Uh, like one day? It's the band. Two days? It's the band. Isn't the prophet says three days? If you like to increase, you increase. Exactly. Zakia? Are you going now to explain to me the verse on the Quran, chapter 96, verse number 2 or not? Christian Prince, first of all, I can't hear you. Zakir, come on. Chapter 96, verse number 2. Christian Prince, are you there? Zakir, for the sake of the shin of Allah, you hear me very well. I can hear you far. <laughs> Here we go. I heard it. So, why you will not read for us 96, 2, explaining how stupid the Quran is? You are a doctor. Go ahead. Christian Prince, are you there? Christian Prince, I can't hear you. Uh, I'm here. I can't hear you. Sorry, I'm going to hang up. Zach and Nike, don't do that to me. Now, come on. People are, this is embarrassing for them. Christian Prince, I'm, not, I'm hearing you. Zach and Nike is gone. Who is a Muslim when I call us and tell us how in the world that Allah, he created us from a clot of dead blood? This is the first verses Muhammad received? Science. Science right away. Take a beer, take a beer, take a beer, take a whiskey. Who cares? Still, Muhammad is a crazy man. Who is next? Stop! I'm dying. Here we go. They will they will accuse me of of killing some people now because they are dying from laughing. And just wait in the comment section, you will see some Muslims saying, this is not a true Zakir Naik, this is somebody who has his voice. Can you believe it? They make videos to expose me, suppose he says, this is not Zakir Naik. <laughs> smart. Unbelievable. Super. I mean, this religion makes you smart. The Muslim, they discover that this is not a true Zakir Naik. I feel bad now. I thought it was. Do we have any brave Abdul? I hope I'm not insulting when I say brave Abdul. Hmm? What happened to Hamza, the one he said he want to call me? Why it taking him so long, Hamza? Hmm? Any Muslim? Here we go. Somebody saying, I love how you make Zachary Naik. My friend, this is a true Zachary Naik. He's next to me. Uh, Zachary Naik, they are saying it's not you. Christian Prince, they are stupid. I, I, I'm telling you, just tell them. Christian Prince, 
First of all, I can open my camera. I can tell you my theft news. I can like don't do that. People will run away. The second they see your face, everybody will disappear. Please, already I'm suffering. You know, like we don't have even the two thousand people here. So don't open your camera. We are safe. Christian Prince, plead for the sake of Allah. Let me open my camera. Like Zachary Nag, don't do that, man. You cannot open your camera. Come on. Don't do that. You are wanted in India. They will get you. Okay. Thank you, Zachary. Good boy. Okay, Zachary, just go outside now. Play. All right. We have Mr. Hamza texting us. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Mute YouTube, yeah, Hamza. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead, my friend. What do you want to say to us? You're live on air. Are you there? Yeah, hello? Okay, what do you like to say to us? You are live on air. Go ahead. You are listening. What do you think? Is Islam from God? Yeah, of course. Why it's from God? Go ahead. Tell us. I know for certain. Why? Tell us why. Because I've had personal experiences. I know uh, this is from God. This religion, the religion of Muhammad is from the true creator of God. Right. The same God of all of the prophets. Did you say to me from the true creator? Solomon, David. Adam, yeah. Did I hear you correct? Did, did I hear you correct? Did I hear you correct? You said from the true creator. Yeah. So how the Quran says there's many creators? The Quran says that there's many creators. Yes. Where does it say this? In many verses in the Quran. No. Does the Quran say that there is the one God? Only one God? You see, you are the one who said to me that the creator. So you are contradicting your God now. Chapter 23, verse number 14. It says Allah is the best of the creators best of the creators maybe no 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 you're misunderstanding that's not what it means uh, so allah he says he is the best of the creators but there's no creators so no you're just playing with words i'm not that's playing i mean this is the word how it is in the quran no that's that's playing with words okay my friend is that what the quran is saying or i'm making things up it says in chapter 23 verse 14 allah is the best of the creators yeah but Okay, if we look at it in that sense, creators, creators meaning if there are any cre creators, any creators, are there any? If there's only one God? Okay, no? so, so let me understand now. So let us agree together. There's no other creators, right? Yeah. So when Allah, he says the best of the creators, this is a lie. No, it's not. Because how he say, if I am the only student in the classroom, and then I say to my mother, hey, mother, oh, I got the number one grade. Okay. I am the best of the student, but there's no other students. That's me, I'm okay, lying. No, no. Okay, so what, what does it say? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of the creators. Mm -hmm. So when it says best of the creators, it is addressing at the same time, if there, if there are any other creators, that's a powerful language of the, the Arabic and the Quran. If you're reading... Uh, Allah is the, the best of the creators, mm. then it's addressing if there are any other creators. So, and, and but, but, if the, but, were, do you, but do you see here it says if? if are, are, you adding, are you adding words to the Quran now? He did not say if, he says Allah, so blessed be Allah, the best of the creators, which means he's confirming there's a the creators and he is the best. No, no, this is this is like strong language. It's a strong language. Uh, how when strong it is? Okay, exactly. It's a, guys, it's a strong language. A strong language says he is the best of the creators. So if there's only one creator, he is using the wrong language. This is strong language in the wrong location because if he is the only creator, then there is no other creator. So this is a phrase which is fraud. Okay, so let me say let me say something mm. because you know during history there were people who created like pyramids, huge uh -huh. schemes, mm. and so these thought they were something of themselves but they were nothing so this when he says of the creators it's addressing it's saying if and and where no. it's addressing the no. possibility of because your creator. quran no my friend you, because your quran your quran but but your quran but definition of those who that can be called the creators is the one at least can create a fly quran but the definition for it so you can play with it so uh, when when uh, uh, when the quran says how you worship somebody he can't even create a fly and fly even can steal their food so it uh, 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 so those who were your you worship and they cannot create a fly 
they are not creators the Quran said the definition is not up to you so who we should follow we should follow at least a person he can create a fly that will make him a creator so uh, building a pyramid that is not a creator this is the build I'm not creator of a house that's that's funny you know this is not not really create creator create creation in the form of religion is you give life okay first of all you know the Quran it's very special book very. the Arabic mm. is very powerful do you speak special. Arabic do you speak Arabic no, I don't speak it. So how you know it's very powerful if you don't know Because I was, I was able to speak it. Now I'll tell you something. No, no, no. When you just said, you should just say yeah, that the Quran is a powerful Arabic book. But yeah. how you know it's powerful if you do not know how to read Arabic? So I'll tell you. No. So when you say uh, he was told to read in the name of his Lord, yeah. this, this was inscribed, this was blessing sent down that he immediately was able to read at once. Uh, this was a blessing sent down to him. Okay. Like a gift. Hmm. Before this, he may not have been able to read at once. He uh, could have been able. To where, you got, where you got this from? Where you, got, where you got this from that he was able to read? So you were making the comment earlier that he wasn't able to read. Yeah, he was not. And you were making fun saying, look, uh, he was not. He, said, he was not, my friend. What, are you making things up now? So, so our belief is that when he was told to read in the name of his Lord, yeah. he was given that blessing. Okay. But this is not what the, 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 your prophet said. Here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari saying that when the angel came to him and he squeezed him three times and keeps, each time he says to him, read, Muhammad, he says, I cannot read. So you're making things up. Oh, he said he can't read because yes. he, was, he, wasn't, he wasn't able to. He wasn't able to read or, yeah. or write. He said that three times and instead he can't read. This right. was a miracle. And what a miracle if I say to somebody he can't read read and still he can't read this is a miracle Ah, and then he was in disbelief. He was in he wasn't in belief at that time Okay, when, can you show me can you show me where Muhammad? He, can you show me where Muhammad in the story? He learned how to read nowhere It says that the man he keeps squeezing him and Muhammad keeps saying to him. I do not know how to read So the store I'm not completely familiar with the story uh -huh. however, I know that he was when he was told to read and you're saying from the story it was uh, an angel, J Jibreel Islam. Mm. And this angel, after, because I know, because I myself, I wasn't able to read Arabic. Uh. Then, through this angel, I was, I was able to read Arabic. Okay, go ahead, read. As long as the angel he no, made no, a miracle no. for you, read for us. Go ahead. Now, now this blessing is done. No, no, now go I ahead. Go ahead. You said the angel he made you read. You said miracle happened yeah, to you. Yeah. And, okay, and, read and, for and, us. And I'll tell you something else. No, no, this tell me not, stop, stop with this I'll, one. No, no, you just claim you just a claim that the, the, the angel came to you and make you know how to learn Arabic, correct? Yeah. Okay, read for us the screen. Go ahead. So I'm just telling I'm explaining to you. No, this read, read, read. Let her explain to us. Read. Because, no, no, I'm because the angel he made you, the angel he made you, there's a miracle happened. We want to see it. The angel he came to you and he made you read Arabic. Read for us Arabic. Go ahead. So I'm just saying, listen. My friend, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening, you see? This, I, yeah, I, want, okay. I want you to read, here we go. I just point at anything in the front of me on the screen. I did not even change the page. Just read for us. As, as long as the angel, he came to me, came to you, and he gave, make a miracle for you. My friend, are you lying or this is a true miracle? I believe it was a miracle to you. Okay, so if, uh, if, the, if the angel, he came to you and he made you read, so why you don't want to read? Here we go, the Arabic in front of you. Because you're not letting me finish my sentence. Uh, okay. This happened previously now that blessing is gone i no longer have that blessing expired the blessing uh -huh. so he no, made no, because... you learn how to read and then it's gone no, yeah I, I had this blessing ah. and I'll, I'll tell you something else it's mm. not through the mouths that we read we read through our hearts uh -huh. when when he was told to read in the name of his lord this was a blessing that came on his heart so i believe that the, the angel came and squeezed him three times uh -huh. i believe that i've experienced this myself mm. Your experience. So, you so, maybe, so are you saying to me that the angel came to you? Are you saying, my friend, are you saying, let me make it clear. Are you saying that the angel came to you and he squeezed you three times? No. So what happened? What, he, but, did, what, what but, he did to you? What he did to you when the angel came I to you? I was able to read powerfully. Yeah. And I believe when I was able to read powerfully, uh -huh. this was through the angel Jibreel, alayhi salam. Uh, and uh, no, I, I no longer, I no longer ha have the angel Jibreel, alayhi salam with me. Uh, so I'm no, no longer able to. Yeah, pizza time. Mm -hmm. As I did. Mm. So, so, you know, I don't know why this is not happening to me. By the way, I once I woke up 
and uh, I was watching Bruce Lee at night. I woke up in the morning. I want to say, like, make me some coffee, you know. And so I said, Chim -ho -hing -ho -ho. but still I know it. I know how to do it, you know. But you are the opposite, so the miracle did not stay with you. So let us go to something serious. It's a miracle you claim, but you cannot prove, which is funny. So Allah, He said to Muhammad, read. There is any proof that Allah He taught Muhammad how to read after that? Sorry. Okay. The first the, the, the when when Allah He says to Muhammad read it was the first chapter Muhammad received correct? I think so. Yeah. All right. So why the Quran keeps saying that Muhammad is illiterate? So previously before this he was illiterate. You see all this Quran which was written down into the book. Uh -huh. This was he didn't write this down. Uh -huh. When when revelation came to him, for example, this verse that you're showing right now, uh -huh. when this came to him, uh -huh. after after this came to him, uh -huh. he would write it down. He would go back to his people and he would go back to his people and they would they would learn it themselves. Okay, my friend, so are, are you saying to me? I want I want you to focus with me. Focus with me. Listen. So yeah. the first verses Muhammad received, Allah he said to him, read, correct? Yeah. Okay. And you said that Allah, when he said that to him, read, he was able to read, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now we have a chapter seven, which came long after, still says that Muhammad is illiterate. So which which chapter is this? Uh, chapter seven, verse number 158. Chapter seven? 158. So it says, Say, O Muhammad, O mankind, indeed I am the messenger of Allah to you all, mm. from him to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. Mm. There is no doubt except him. He mm. gives life and causes death. So mm. believe in Allah and his messenger, the unlettered prophet, mm. who believes in Allah and his words, and follow him that mm. you may be God. Mm. So he is illiterate or not? It says unlettered in yeah. this version that I have. Yeah, so he is what? He can read or he cannot read? So when it says here, unlettered, it says unlettered. So he was, that was what he was. He was, a, he was. No, it says he is literate still. It yeah, says, he was. He was do, do you see the word he was? Do you see the word he was? In your translation, to be honest, do you see the word he was? I, it, it's getting very blurry, what you, what you, but ah, I can hear what you're saying. It's very up. Uh, in your translation, your translation, does it say he was illiterate? No, it says the unlettered prophet. Okay, so he is illiterate still. Otherwise, it's going to say he was. So, here it says he's the unlettered. Mm -hmm. Now, when, when people say unlettered, from my understanding, mm -hmm. not, not unlettered, but he was known as unstudied or unable to read or write oh. after this event of the first revelation he hmm. was able to read I, so, do, I so don't maybe let, let me help you maybe what he happened to you maybe what happened to you my friend what's your name your, what's your name my friend Hamza Hamza, Hamza Hamza so Hamza maybe what happened to Muhammad is the same what happened to you the angel came to him squeezed him he was able to read and then he uh, blessing his blessing what do you think no, I don't. I don't believe so. So why because the Quran is so why the Quran saying he's illiterate? Doesn't say he was illiterate. He was a literate man. This is like. Uh, can you call me back because it's getting blurry. The the line is getting blurry. Uh, yeah. Okay. We will add some salt. Okay. No problem. I will call you back. Yeah. The line is getting blurry. You know. Yeah. Getting blurry. As of I'm playing a movie. I don't know. What we are for what? We are your father. Let us call this back. Yeah, hello? Okay, somebody, somebody is saying my mic. Is my mic good or not? Hold on, let me call you. I think my mic is not good. I don't know why. My mic is not good. Why this is happening? My mic is not good. Okay, okay, okay. Take it, 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 
We got it, we got it, the mic is bad, the mic is bad, the mic is bad. Ah, the mic is bad. All right, is it better now? Is it better now? Maybe, maybe. Is it better now? Ooh. That's my, my mic became a story. I will make Quran it's called my, your mic. What's wrong with the echo? You know, Allah, he speak with echo. Don't you see me in a hijab video? It says, And then let's call him. Okay, so now it's fine. Okay, I don't know why this is happening. Maybe I need to buy a new mic. I just bought this mic last year, I think. All right. Do you hear me now, my friend? Yeah, yeah, it's better now, yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, so as you see, you know, you know what? Forget about everything we said. Can you give me any proof that Muhammad is a prophet? No, I can't give you proof. You cannot? I can't give you a miracle or proof, but neither can we do that for any of the prophets. This is about faith. Uh, do Muhammad have faith? Of course. But the Quran, he says, he don't have faith. The Quran says that Muhammad didn't have faith. Yes. I, I don't think it says that. Okay, let's see. The Quran says that Muhammad, he was, uh, he don't uh, believe he is a prophet. And Allah, he was asking him to go and ask the Christians and the Jews. Chapter 10, verse number 94. So it says they will make excuses to you when you have returned to them. No, no, saying, here, sorry, sorry. I, I here, chapter ninety, verse number ninety-four. Which which chapter? Ninety-four. Chapter ninety-four. Yeah. Yeah, chapter ninety-four. Hmm. So do Muhammad have faith that he is a prophet or not? So chapter 94, why do you say that it means that he didn't have faith? Well, it says, if you have a doubt about what revealed to you, go and ask the Christian and the Jews. What kind of advice is advice for a person who is a prophet already? Which line? Huh? Which line? It says in the front of you. Can't you read chapter ten, verse number ninety-four? Oh, chapter ten, verse ninety-four. Yes. Sorry. Hmm. Chapter ten, verse ninety-four. Yeah. So if you are in doubt, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, about that which we have revealed to you, mm. ask those who have been reading the scripture before you. Mm. The truth has certainly come to you from your Lord, so never be among the doubters. So mm. yeah, okay, so it says never be among the doubters, in insinuating that he had doubted. Hmm. Why he doubt? But you said to me, he, but you said to me, have a strong faith. Now he he's doubted. You know why a person re receiving revelation? Did, did Muhammad see an angel when he squeezed him first time? So, you know, it says he he had a doubt, and he was human. Um, okay. So we look at so the but, okay, but no problem. He was a human. I like that. You know, I'm glad he is a human, not something else. So, but that's not the question. Did Muhammad see an angel when he squeezed him first time? When he came to him and said to him, read. I don't know that account. account. What do you mean? You are the one who told me about it. You said, you know, he came to him and he squeezed him three times and he made him read. Now you do not yeah, know it? I know about the first verse. It says read. Yeah. And you told me that in the Hadith, mm. they say that an angel, Jibreel Islam, came and allowed him to read. Mm. Squeezed him, enabling him to read. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that account. I know that the Quran, if you go by the Quran, this is the most accurate 
uh, no, we know the I, account because your prophet he told the story and, re and registered in Sahih al Bukhari. Yeah, so, I don't so, know. Okay, so do you believe that Angel came to Muhammad for true or not? Oh, certainly, certainly. Okay, this, so why Muhammad himself he don't believe it? So why Muhammad why Muhammad don't believe it? So he had a doubt. He had a doubt. Okay, you are a person who never saw the angel and you don't have a doubt. And then Muhammad is the one who saw the angel. The angel squeezed him three times. And already he's a prophet. He received a 51 chapter already because this is chapter 10 is chapter 51 according to Revelation. So now Muhammad in the middle of his prophethood, he received 51 chapter already out of 114. And now he have a doubt about he is a prophet or not. So I'm going to, I'll tell you something from memory. Mm. Um, I don't know this specific scenario. But I'm just reading. It says he was in a doubt. He had a doubt, and this is re, re uh, this is helping him with his his doubt, or uh, so because he was human anyway. So he had doubts. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so after so after Muhammad all this time claiming to be a prophet, and then we find that after more than ten years claiming to be a prophet, we find that he himself have a doubt that he's a prophet. How crazy is that? No, it doesn't say that he had the thought that he was a prophet. It says, no. so if you are in doubt about that which we have No, it says you, that. It says, it says. And he is asking him to go and ask the Christian and the Jews. Those who have been reading the scripture before you. Yeah, the Christian and the Jews. The people of the book. But then following that, if you believe that line, the following line says, the truth has certainly come to you from your Lord. And? Because, so so you're saying that he's he's told to. I, I, I don't understand the context of this, but I'll, I'll tell you a scenario that I remember. Hmm. I remember that. Uh, I think this is from hadiths. I can't say where from, but there was a long time where he was upset or feeling that he God was angry with him because hmm. for a long time a revelation did not come to him, and so I can say. Yeah, maybe he was in doubt. Uh, mm. I don't know what you mean by... Okay, I have a friend. I have a friend. He got upset from time to time and he tried to kill himself. What do you think? Is he uh, thinking right or is he crazy? I don't know. It depends on what he's going through. He's going through a lot. His his mother-in-law, she is, you know, she come, come into his house and she eat his falafel. So is he right to kill himself? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? Is it right? Is it an? Is it a behavior of somebody is, uh, you know, his mentally thinking right, or this is a crazy behavior to kill you, try to kill yourself? I can't say because I don't know what the person's going through. It's difficult. We don't know what everyone's going through. Is I know, I know, but but don't we know that there is something called mental illness? Yeah. Okay. So if somebody trying to kill himself, is he mentally ill? Maybe not. Maybe people are driven crazy by mental illness. But you just drives. said, but you just said driven crazy. So he's mentally ill. You, you are the one who said, you're answering me now, saying he's driven crazy. So he's crazy. I know. Listen, I know this because I've been driven crazy by mental illness and I've wanted to kill myself. So that's mm. my scenario. So I don't know what this man why you, is going why you, why to do. Why you try to kill yourself? Why you try to kill yourself? I've had some mental illness. It doesn't mean that I'm crazy. What? What? Why you try to kill yourself? If you'd like to share, oh, I have you know many thoughts coming in my head. Like what? Too many. Just, uh, just. You know what happened with me? Like six months ago, I wake up in the morning, yeah, and every day I'm having many thoughts, thoughts, thoughts coming to me. Uh, so like, like bad thoughts. Mm. And, you know, God didn't help me, mm. but I'm still grateful towards God because mm. my scenario could be far, far worse than this. Mm. I still have. I have my hands, I have my feet, I have my eyes, mm. uh, I'm still in good health. And I, if the worst thing is, I could be in hell. Mm. I could be in a place of fire and torment. Mm. Maybe this mental illness happened to me because I've done something wrong. Mm. Or it could be a punishment or a lesson. So, mm. so, do, you think, so do you think Allah is, he was punishing Muhammad when he was mentally ill? No, maybe he was testing him. Maybe he was testing him. It's... So Allah, he tests people by making them crazy? 
No. Uh, I, I don't know his scenario, what exactly happened. I don't know. Only God knows himself. Mm. But that happened there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go with you to zero. I'm going to change this topic. I want you to help me. What is going to make me believe that Muhammad is a prophet? Go ahead. I want you to help me. I, I can't I can't I, I can't give you that it's mm. if God wants to guide you mm. then there's nothing that can st stop okay, anybody let us, from... let us stop with here do Allah guide or misguide he guides he don't misguide? He, allows, he allows to go mistray astray whoever he wills okay but do he guide or misguide he, he guides he don't misguide he he can allow to go astray whoever he wills no this is not about allowing I'm asking you a specific question. Do he misguide? Do he deceive? No, he doesn't deceive. Mm. His his promise is true. Okay. The Quran is true. All right. What everyone is going you, to you're a prophet. You're a prophet. He tried to guide some people to Islam. Yeah. Right? And then uh, Allah, he says to him, how are you going to guide <laughs> the one who Allah misguide? What do you think exactly. about that? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell us what do you so, think. Uh, so if, if because this was his heart, Muhammad peace be upon him, he wanted to guide many people. I remember I reading somewhere similar to. Tell this. you what, you focus with me. I don't care about Muhammad now. Allah saying to Muhammad, "Are you going to guide the one who Allah is guide?" Exactly, because he was going against his way to guide people. My friend, who are, what's wrong with you? Right? So it, Muhammad was sent to guide who? To guide the one is misguided, correct? Yeah. Okay, so why he cannot misguide, he cannot guide the one who is misguided? When Muhammad he came as a prophet, how many Muslims was in Mecca? So, so there were some people who were not Muslims. Some of his family members they were not Muslims. This is not the question. This is not the question. How many Muslims was in Mecca? I don't know. What do you mean? Is there anyone beside Muhammad? Yeah, there's many people there. Yeah, many people they were Muslims. Oh, no, no, there was very little people who were Muslim. Slowly, slowly, more people started. Okay, but uh, the question is very simple. How many Muslims was behind, beside, beside Muhammad? I don't know the full history, but okay. there was no Muslims. Okay, let us, let us say there was, there was a five. Okay. But if Muhammad, he is not sent to guide the one who is misguided, then what Muhammad sent for? Oh, no, no, you, you're misinterpreting. Oh. You're misinterpreting. When it says some people are misguided, I have I have experience with this. I tried to guide people who were misguided, mm. people who completely didn't want the, this oh. message, who were completely against it. Oh. So I went out of my way to try to guide them. And mm. this took me to belief. Mm. So, and later on, I learned from this lesson that I can't guide everyone. Mm. I can't save everyone, even if it's my own family members because I used to try strongly, like... My friend, if I, you are not listening. You are just in the, in the limbo. Listen, it says, and the one who Allah deceived, nobody can guide him. So in, in, in the first reason to be deceived, it's Allah who deceived them. No, so, when it says deceive, it does not mean that... It does it, not mean It's deceive. not up to you. It's not up to you. The, ver, the, verse, the verse is in front of us. Who is, who's ever Allah, he deceived, none can guide him. So who is the one who made you deceive, deceive first? Allah. So where does it say, where, which verse? Chapter 7, verse 186. One eighty six. Hmm. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray, there is hmm. no guide for him. And he yeah. leaves them in their transgression, wandering blindly. Hmm. So yeah, of course. Of some course. people, Allah Taala, He does not allow to guide. So, some no, people. No, no, no. Are... You see, you, uh, don't, don't, don't force to hang up on you. Are you going to, to speak like a dog to me? It says, "Who is ever Allah deceived? Allah is the one who deceived them. They were not deceived. Allah is the one who deceived them. So they were good no. people. They were good no. people. Who is the okay. one who deceived them? Be, 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 you know, be, uh, according to this verse, who is the one who deceived them? No, no, no. So your translation it says the word deceive. Do you remember before you told me when you I don't care for translation. I, I, read, I read Arabic. I read Arabic, not like you. However, read your translation, doesn't matter. So mine says sends astray. Whoever okay. so they were not astray. astray. In order in order to send somebody astray, that's mean he was not astray, correct? Sorry? 
in order to send somebody astray yeah he that's mean he was not astray perhaps not uh, everyone is born muslim but we go we get okay so let us go to zero man the one who Allah sent astray, he was astray when he sent him astray or he was not astray? Okay, so I'll tell you, um, no, uh, so it depends on the person. Some people... <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Take care, my friend. Oh, boy. <laughs> Depending on the person. Who cares what person? The one who Allah sent astray, he was not astray. Otherwise, how Allah he will send him astray? And if Allah is the one who sent people astray, so what the devil do for a living? Eat pizza? Where are those people coming to me from? I have no time for kids. Who, I'm reading your stupid translation. In Arabic, it doesn't even say that. It says, the one who Allah deceived. No one can guide him. Simple. So, he was not deceived. Otherwise, if he was deceived, then Allah did not deceive him. And then, if this is what happened, that Allah did not deceive him, so how Allah, he says, he is the one who deceived him, that means this is a fraud. Stupid statement. So, the statement so clear saying, the one who Allah he deceived, no one can guide him. No, 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 depending on the person. And Allah, you know, the angel came to me and he made me read and then the blessing is gone. Okay, cheese kebab. Yeah. How stupid this cult is. And if this is what, what Allah he does for a living, what, what shaitan doing then? What shaitan he do for a living? Actually, according to the Quran, shaitan is deceiving people because of Allah. Read carefully. Uh, <coughs> this is your Quran. Because you have sent me astray. Who is the one who made shaitan shaitan? <laughs> who is the one who deceived shaitan? <laughs> Do you see it, Muslims? Allah. Shaitan in Islam is a good guy. Allah, he deceived him. Hello? Yes. Go ahead, my friend. You speak Arabic and your name is Abdul Mumit Abdul Dar. Can you translate your name for us? It doesn't matter. Look. No, it matters. Matter. Matter. Uh, no, it matters. I want you to translate because this is a very this is very disgusting name to, to call it for God. Translate for me Abdul Mumit Abdul Dar. Abdul Mumit means the, the slave of the killer. Okay. And Abdul Dar? The slave of the one who does uh, bad things. Bad things. So you are the slave of the one who do bad things. Yes. And that is Allah. Yes. Okay, go ahead. So you were saying that, uh, like, uh, I don't remember what you said, but basically you said that Allah misguides people, yes? Right. Okay. Hmm. So, <clears throat> so, for you, Muhammad, he misguides people, right? Allah, he must be this guy, people. Muhammad is just a, a fool. He's just a messenger of God, yes? No, he's not a messenger of God. He's a messenger of shaitan. You are just told me, you are just told, the one told me, that Allah is the one who killed the killer. You are the slave of the killer and slave of the one who do bad. That is shaitan. Yeah, but who created shaitan? No, but it's it, you are the slave of the one who do bad. And this is one of the names yeah. of your God, right? Allah is Allah is uh, uh, the one who do bad. I, I appreciate your honesty in translation. And now, who is the one who deceive people? Allah or Shaitan? Uh, both. Well, the Shaitan says that Allah deceive Shaitan 
and shaitan is just deceived, correct? Yes. Okay. So if a shaitan is deceived by Allah, and I am deceived by shaitan, and I am deceived by Allah, and you are the one who said both, that means the real deception, this deceiver, the big deceiver is Allah. But for you, this is all um, Muhammad who said that. He's faking this, right? Who is faking this? It's Muhammad who created Islam, the Quran for you. you I want you to tell me what Islam teaching you, regardless now if Muhammad is faking it or not. So do you agree that shaitan is a victim of Allah? Allah deceived him. And Allah yeah, I agree. One. Okay, so if shaitan was deceived by Allah, why shaitan is bad then? Because he also deceives people. Yeah, but he is deceived himself by the deceiver Allah. So he is a victim of the big deceiver. So I am deceived. And then because I'm deceived, I will, as a result of my being deceived, I will deceive people whatever I say. So here you see that Allah is the biggest deceiver. He is shaitan. Yeah, that, that's my belief. Now let's go to your belief. So you, be, you believe that Allah is shaitan? I believe that Allah misguides people, yes. No, no, you believe Allah is shaitan? No, he's not shaitan. He created shaitan. No, this is what I, I said to you. Okay, let us go back to zero. So, shaitan was deceived by Allah and you agreed. That yes. means shaitan was a good guy, correct? He used to be a good guy, yes. Okay, who made him a bad guy? God. Who is God? What is his name? Allah. Okay, why Allah he made him a bad guy? Because he wants to. Why is that? He wants to. God does whatever he wants. He's almighty. Okay, so so the, the, the your God is not good then? Um, yeah, you could say that. In our From our perspective, you could say that that, is, uh, that doesn't look uh, correct. I don't know what do you mean. So are you saying that your God Allah is evil? He looks evil to us, but we might not comprehend exactly why he does certain things. So do you comprehend Shaitan is evil or you don't comprehend Shaitan is evil? I comprehend. Do you comprehend that Jesus no, created I'm asking you, well, hold on. So oh, how it's come, my, my, my turn to ask. How, it's come, my turn to ask. How, how come you comprehend Shaitan is evil? But you cannot comprehend Allah. Being because evil. my brain is uh, is, is limited. You we have limit limited me. brain capacity. Okay, but you just you are the one with your limited brain capacity. You are the one who agree that Allah is evil. Yeah, I said I agree with you. He looks from our perspective that he is evil. Okay, so you as a Muslim, from your perspective, you see Allah is evil. So what is the difference between Allah and Shaitan? There's different beings. Allah can do good sometimes, but uh, Satan, he does only bad things. Okay, did you just say that Shaitan, he do only bad things? Yes. Okay, so how come the, 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 your prophet, he said that Shaitan, he ordered him to do good things? No, that's uh, Al-Qarin, it's not Shaitan. This is, this is who? Al-Qarin. But this is Shaitan. Yeah, I was talking about Iblis, not uh, like uh, the My species friend, over uh, What Saturday species? Night. What species? Isn't it, shaitan? Isn't it the devil? Here we go. This is your prophecy. Is the devil in the hadith? No, no. Shaitan. Each each person shaitan. in Islam the belief shaitan. is. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. فَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَجْرِي فِي أَحَدِكُمْ مَجْرَ الدَّمْ. Translate. And then he says, "Do you have a qareen?" He says, "You and even me, right?" So the one yeah, who is the qareen. So the one is the qareen is the shaitan, correct? It's not Iblis. It's a, it's a shaitan, not the shaitan. Okay, not Iblis. Who is Iblis then? Iblis is like his, their master. He's the master Satan. Is he the master or the father? He's both, actually. So is he the father of the of all Satans? Yeah. Okay, how he have kids? Uh, they say that he lays eggs. He has like a penis in his right thigh. Okay. And the vagina in his left and the... Uh... All right. So uh, Allah, he created one shaitan. And when he created him, he created him with penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. If there's any proof of that. No. So why you must then believe in such a thing? Uh, it's the best they could do. They, I don't know if they heard it from the prophet. I don't know. I don't, I don't even remember if it's a weak or strong hadith this one. Okay. So... 
if not as true, not as strong, then how shaitan he got his kids? Well, we have, I told you it's one hypothesis that he uh, lays eggs. Yeah, but uh, okay, so this is an explanation. The Muslim trying to explain the stupid Quran because how in the world shaitan, how many, how many shaitan Allah kicked out from heaven? One, he kicked, he kicked Iblis. Probably it's only one. Okay, so now the Muslims they ask how this has happened. You know, they ask as an example Ibn Abbas. He says, "Hada Ursun lam ashhadhu." This is a wedding party. I did not, I did not witness because Shaitan did not get married, and his only one is get out. So the Muslim, in order to cover the stupidity in the Quran or the story, they say the Shaitan uh, Allah created for him a penis and the right leg and a vagina and the left leg. So you, you, according to you, Shaitan is a male or female? Iblis, yeah, they, uh, in the Quran, it's always a masculine. He's a guy. He's a guy. So how he's a guy, he have a vagina. <laughs> you mean? Dude, you're, you're trying to like, you're trying to project the human being onto other beings. You cannot do my that. Friend, my friend, I'm not saying anything. I'm just asking you a question about your belief. So how he is a, a, a male gender, as you said, the shaitan always called as a male. So how is a male gender? And then we find that you just saw to me that Allah, he gave him a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. Oh, well, maybe he's a transgender. He is what? A transgender. Transgender, that's a good one. So, uh, uh, Shaitan, he do when he have a, a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the right thigh. What he do? He lays eggs. No, how before he do that? What the penis for? It's to inseminate the vagina. Okay, is it true that the, the Arabic in the Arabic the story says Yanka who had a Yes, it's okay. a hadith. So it's Yanka, a strong uh, okay. by. So yanka yanka hu hada bidak. What yanka mean? To f, right? Physically. Yeah, sexual intercourse. Yes. Okay. So the word nikah means sexual intercourse, right? Yes. Correct. So shaitan he do nikah by his penis in the right thigh to his vagina in the left thigh, and then he lay eggs. Why eggs? <laughs> You're asking very stupid questions, man. Why? Why okay. you try to let us say, let us say I'm stupid and you are smart. So why shaitan he lay eggs? Why he don't give birth? I don't know. That's what God wants. He wanted. Okay. He wanted it like but, that. But let me let me make it simple for you. Isn't it your prophet? He says before you have intercourse, you have to make certain prayer. Otherwise, you will have shaitan will share with you your kids. You are jumping all over the place. Let me no, ask no, you no, one we question. The, we are in the same place. When you are a prophet, he says you have to say a certain prayer before you do intercourse. Otherwise, shaitan will share with you your kids. And shaitan, which, which means your son will be the son of shaitan. Correct? I don't know this. You don't know the hadith about Allahumma jannibna shaitana wa jannibna shaitana ma radaqna? We do prayers before so many things, not before intercourse. No, no, there is, a, there is a specific hadith before the intercourse. You have to say it. Otherwise, shaitan will rod himself around your penis and he will be the one doing your wife. Right, can you read that in Arabic, please? Okay. Let us see. You will put it for you. Why won't you let me ask you? You, you? you keep asking me and I, I never have the right to ask you back. My, my friend, you want to ask me about what? We're supposed to be other one, the wrong ones. So you oh, are you are sure from that. Okay. Jannib hmm. shaytana. All right. Here we go. This is the hadith. Let us see. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> now we can we can find more details hadith but those are very dirty so we will show the one is easy to read. All right. Okay. This is this is this is the hadith. It says. What's the sanad? Uh, well, this is Sahih. I'm going to show you Al Bukhari, so you don't question it too much. You know. This is Al Bukhari. Hadith number one forty one. 
if any one of you will have a sexual intercourse he have to say a certain prayer Shaitan will sleep with your wife and different hadith says he will round himself around the man private part and he will be doing hey, the wife protection. huh just a protection yeah he will be like a condom because we say prayers before we leave we say prayers before entering the bathroom we say prayers before uh, mm. uh, buying clothes before uh, anything okay so Shaitan, he have to say, you have to say a prayer that Shaitan, he is going to have sex with your wife. So how Shaitan, he lay eggs, but then your wife, she would have baby if he slept with her. Why well, she is not laying oh, eggs? Okay, you are asking very stupid questions. Well, with so my all friend, my respect. So, so, so you are saying to me, it's not stupid to believe that Shaitan have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg. And I am the stupid because I'm asking the question. Oh, this one is known. It's a known hadith that he has a penis on his right thigh. But you're, you're, the, you're like... You're the one who mentioned it to me, right? Yes. Okay. So, why need, we, why need to to pray? Why we need to pray before shaitan, you know, before his intercourse? Otherwise, shaitan, he will share with us our offspring. What will, what will happen exactly? I don't know. It's uh, figurative stuff. I don't know. It's... But can it you help me just, to okay, can you help me? I'm trying to understand, if you don't mind. What will happen, you think? Well, don't you, like, in Christianity, believe in Satan and he can do bad things to you? Okay, my friend, I'm asking you, what will happen if you forget to have uh, 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 this prayer and you have intercourse with your wife? With my respect to your wife, we are not trying to insult. What will happen exactly? What do you think will happen? I don't know. It says here that Shaitan will take, will take control of him. Not only he will yeah. be the child of Shaitan, Shaitan will take control of him, which means that the child will be bad. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, guys, he agree that Shaitan will be bad, but your prophet, his father, did not pray this prayer. That means Muhammad is bad, he's son of Shaitan. Dude, it's only a protection. It's My friend, it's my protection. Time. Okay, I go with you, protection. And I ask you, if he did not, if you do not do this prayer, he will be bad. You agreed. So your prophet father, he did not say this prayer. He never heard of it. He's a kafir anyway. So that's mean. No, it's, not, it's not he will be bad. He might be bad. No, he will be bad. He will be bad. The Quran confirm it. Zuriyatahu. So your prophet, he never mentioned this prayer until now. No. So his father, his father was a kafir. He will go to hell. That's mean when Muhammad father, he slept with his mother. mother. He did not say that prayer. That means Muhammad is not protected and he will be evil, as you said. Can you read the whole sentence in Arabic, please? Our friend, you know Arabic, right? Read it in front of you. You know, read it in front of you. I need to open my phone. Okay. It's not a. Uh, it's going to show. Maybe it take a little bit of time. So, low and low, it's uh, it's like a supposition. It's not a certain low. It's like a, a conditional tense. Yeah. So conditional. If you don't do it, what will happen? Yeah, it might happen. It's not. It will happen. No, it will it's happen. No, it, it says, if you say that, then that will not happen to you. If you say the prayer, لو أن أحدكم, read Arabic, you know Arabic? لو أن أحدكم إذ أتى أهله, قال بسم الله. So the confirmation is, if you say that prayer, then his son will not be hurt by shaitan. That's wonderful. But if you don't say it, that's mean he will share with you the offspring. And this is confirming the Quran. The Quran says that Shaitan, uh, he is going to have offspring from who? Read the interpretation. What's the verse? Chapter 18, verse number 
Uh, what does this have to do with anything? Uh, no, you tell me. It says here, you know, the the uh, are you going to worship him and his children? What children we are talking about here? Of spring of shaitan, which one? Are they the children from the women, the Muslim women, or they are children from his penis and his eggs? No, I don't get. There is no context here. Hmm. Yeah, I want to show you here. This is Ibn Abbas, and you speak Arabic. Mm -hmm. And this is an Islamic statement, and I can show you all the references you want. It says here, قال إن امرأة استيقظت. This is Ibn Abbas. وفي فرجها شعلة نار. قال ذلك من وطء الجن. Translate. So the jinn uh, have sex with the uh, women. No, no. Just translate what you what you saw, my friend. Go ahead. Somebody saw a woman who has fire in her vagina. Okay. And then what Ibn Abbas said? It's a jinn. It is jinn doing boom boom, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe in that? What is it first? Where did you come well, come up with this? Let me give you all the reference you want. No problem. Give me a second. Here we go. So can I ask you, yes? Tafsir al-Baghawi. This is in front of us. Tafsir al-Baghawi. Page number 288. According to the website here. Explain how shaitan he have children. Alright. This is the same verse we are talking about. Chapter 18, verse number 50. Actually, here they are trans uh, giving the, uh, the interpretation for verse number 64. The so chapter of 17, said, yeah. but the same one, chapter 17, verse number 64. It says here that the woman, this guy he saw in the vagina of his wife, he came to enter her room and he saw a fire in her bushes, in her pubic area. And then Ibn Abbas, he says, well, this is because genie was effing her, correct? Yes. All right. So, uh, uh, so Muhammad then, he did not. His father did not say this prayer. That's mean he is a shaitan. He's a son of shaitan. And the shaitan, he have a fire in the bushes of Muhammad's mother. Okay. Can I ask you now? Who oh, was? Oh, you want to change topic now? Yes. Oh, okay. Go ahead. When you want to ask me. Why did Jesus create Muhammad? Why Jesus created Muhammad? Jesus created Adam and Eve, and then he gave Adam and Eve the ability to, you know, uh, to reproduce. That's all. He did not create uh, a specific person. He created only one male, one female. Do you have different story in the Quran? No, in the, in the Islam, we believe he created everything. Okay. No, the Quran, no. If you go in the Quran, you see, it says here, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصَيْرًا نَسَبًا وَصَيْرًا do you know what does that mean? Who? Who? Allah is speaking, saying, chapter 25, verse number 54. Do you know what does that mean? Who? A human being. So, what does it mean? You tell me, I don't know, you are the Muslim. I thought you are the Muslim, not me. We made human beings, not seven or seven. Okay, what does that mean? So it means he, uh, we are his children. Children of who? Of God. You are children of God? You must not believe in that? That's what the verse says, no? I don't know where you get this from. I don't know. It says it is he who created man from water. And he has, mm -hmm. he has appointed for him kindred from, by blood. And kindred by marriage. And, and now you are telling me this is mean. That Allah is your father? No, maybe I understand the verse wrong. Okay. If we go and read the interpretation, we will find that according to this verse, Allah, He His creation, all of them, is He created them from the water, which is Adam, right? But the water here presents sperm. Was Adam created from sperm? 
No. So the verse is wrong then. Oh, what? Uh, why do you say that it's a sperm? Okay. When the Quran says that Allah created Adam from water, if we search the word ma, we will find that the word ma always in the Quran come as a mean as a sperm. As an example, ma in dafiq. Ma in dafiq. Yeah. So we created the man from gushing forth fluid. What kind of a fluid it is? It is gushing fluid. What is that? It is the sperm. Do you agree? In this verse, yes, but in others, no. Oh, so it, the, it's possible that the verse uh, have different meaning. Okay, was Adam created from water or from mud? From water. How? From mud. Where, where, how you can support that? Show me. Uh, okay. And we made it from the water, every living thing. Is the angels made from water? Yes. Angels are they made from be. water? They must be. I thought they are made from light. I thought they are made from light. Light and water. Yeah, now we are mixing things together. Your prophet he says they are made of light, shaitan made of fire. Correct? Yes. Okay, so Allah is wrong. Not every living thing according to Islam is from water because shaitan, it's at least, he is not made of water, he's from fire, and fire is not water. Now we go back to zero. When you say to me that Allah, he made everything from, from water, and the Quran says Allah created Adam from water, but then we will find that Adam wasn't created from water. Uh, Adam was created from uh, dust. From dust? From mud, you mean? Well, isn't it? Uh, so, but, so it's not water. You say wa water, if we, if we say water, that means it was water alone. If we say water and, and dust we mixed together, that will not be water alone. No. Are you created from water to. alone? Are you are you just water? No. There's okay. more. So this is wrong. So when Allah He says we created everything from water, that's false. Specifically, especially when we talk about Adam and Eve, because Adam was not created from water, so the Quran cannot be from God. No, because mud has water in it. No it problem. So if, if, if we have water in it, it doesn't mean that this is created from water. That's wrong. That's false information. If I if I buy a product and then they say to me, uh, it says in the in the in the box, it says contain water. So if I open it, I should not find anything except the water. Do you agree? I don't agree. You don't agree. So if I lie, he says it's made from water. Then we open it, we find it's many things, not only water. That means this is false information. No, it's not. It's incomplete information. It's incomplete. I like that. Guys, did he say incomplete? Did Allah complete? Yes. Did he give us incomplete or he completed the information? When it comes to creating from water, he gave us incomplete information. Oh, so when it's come to only the water, he gave us incomplete. Can you give me one thing Allah he gave it was complete? Hmm... Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. Did, yep. Allah, did Allah He says He completed your religion for you? Yeah. All right. Which day is that? What do you mean, which day? Well, which day? Because it says today, I completed your religion for you. Uh, Friday. Friday. That's wonderful, guys. Allah He completed Islam on Friday. That's wonderful. So why why Allah he you know when you when you Muslim you say he completed Friday that's mean he finished working and he take he takes Sabbath as holiday right? No. So he was working until Friday, according to you. No, he's always working. He's always working. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when he said he completed my religion for you, what he is doing after that? After he completed. He is uh, managing the, the whole universe, man. Okay, that's a good thing. He is managing. So now Allah, he says, I completed. But this is in the beginning of the Quran. No, because the order of the Surah is not... Um, so is not is, oh, so you are saying this is Quran is, that we have today is screwed up. This is, should be at the end of the Quran, correct? Yeah, it's shuffled. Okay, so this verse should be at the end of the Quran. Who is the one who changed it and he put it here? This is wrong. 
You don't say the end I of the movie uh, when the movie end is just in the beginning. I think it's Abu Musab Du'ali or something like that. Who? Abu Musab Du'ali. Abu Musab Du'ali. Okay, not Al Farahidi. Okay, so a Du'ali is the one who changed location of the verses. Is he God? No. Who allow him to do it? Why you so you Muslim? You say that we we don't allow anyone to change the Quran, and now you are saying to me a guy he is not even an Arab. He changed the Quran. He just tried to unify, just like it was He tried he to do. He, he, other, he, he tried to do what? The stuff that Uthman did. He, okay. Uh, he, he tried to do what exactly? Uthman he did. He, what Uthman he did, and what this guy tried to do? Try to unify the Mushaf. You unify? Yeah. What do you mean by unify? Because uh, people have many mushafs, like every person had their own. Exactly. Which... So there was many Quran, and none of them is the same as the other. So the Muslims, they lie to us when they say we have one Quran preserved. Yeah, of course, it's not, it's not preserved. Okay, so it's not preserved, it's a lie. Now, so what we have here, a guy, he came and he put this chapter, this verse, in this location and that it damaged the whole Quran because this should be at the last verse in the Quran today I completed your religion for you I completed my favor upon you that's it perfect now it's perfect so what we understand from this that there's no guarantee in the whole religion you have who who came first who came next who is the one putting this here maybe they are even adding those verses does you have any guarantee that this is not added no, actually, we don't, because even the, um, the people like Hafs and Warf who uh, narrated the Quran are have very are not very trusted in the Hadith. They are not trusted in the Hadith. Okay, so Hafs is the one who gave you the Quran. Actually, he's a thief, correct? The Hadith says that Hafs can yasruq al kutub. Yeah. He, he used to steal books. Okay, so he's a thief, and his father is the same. Hafs ibn Asim, his father by by uh, you know stepfather. So and Asim was a thief too. So now you get the Quran from a thief, from a thief, from a thief. So how you can trust this book in front of you to tell me that you are a Muslim? Yeah, actually, I'm not a Muslim. I was just uh, sorry. Say again. I'm not Muslim. You are not a Muslim. No. Say uh, okay. Say that. Say that Muhammad is a fraud. Muhammad is a stupid Abdul. Okay, and, uh, so why you right so why you are is, why you are calling uh, me all this time and, and and playing you are a Muslim? Are you a, are you a fraud too? Uh, yeah, you can say I'm a fraud. Uh, I think I think you are a Muslim, but because it's embarrassment for you, so you decide to say to fix all what you said. You say I'm not a Muslim. Is that what happened? No, no, I, I I'm telling you, I'm not a Muslim, and uh, Muhammad is a stupid Abdul, and I invite okay. all the Abduls uh, to stop defending this stupid religion. Uh, okay, all right. What an idiot. I believe that you are trying to fix it because people, they are laughing at you. Can I ask you about Jesus now? Very embarrassing. So now what we would do, we will say that I'm not a Muslim because now this will be all over the internet. Do we have any Abdul? Hmm. Anyone? If you are a fake Muslim, you don't defend Islam, obviously, but because you found yourself, you, you know, you see what people are saying in the chat. What you said is horrible. So now you try to fix it. It's like Muhammad. When he was claiming to be a Muslim, when he saw people, they are laughing at him, he says he start worshipping Allah and Al-Uzza. Suddenly he's not a Muslim. Uh, truth prevail, he's saying, you cannot defend your pagan belief. My friend, it's not us who kiss black stones and go around it and lick it. It's you. I find it very funny. Why you don't call me truth? Let us see who is the pagan. Who accepts the challenge? Let us see who is truly a pagan. Who is the one going around a building, kissing his stones, and he believed that the stone erased his sin? Who is the pagan? We don't have such a garbage.
It's you who's speaking. And the Quran confirm it. Who is the stone kisser? It's you. People, I will remind you tomorrow, we will have our first Bible study in my other account. We have it in the pinned message. And the admin, they will post the link for you if you like to join us. Uh, so if you care, feel free to join us. And as a first uh, uh, study for the Bible tomorrow we will do is about the Christmas. Do we have any brave Muslim? Do we have any brave smart Muslim? Brave and smart Muslim. Look how 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 bad the situation is. Uh, okay, somebody. All right, we have okay. Yeah, this is my book. Printed in many languages. In, uh, in what language is that? Hold on. You know the angel he squeezed me, and I forgot the language now. What language is that, guys? You see, we are giving our books for free, right? So here the, uh, we receive a message that my book is printed and given for uh, 500 copies for free for people. Maybe this is Quran and science, I think. Yeah, nice copy, actually. It's a, even, even the graphic is better than my graphic. Unbelievable. <laughs> You know, I'm so happy that my books is going around the world. And this is the blessing of not to be greedy and going after money. Because if we insist that we will not give it for free, then it's not going to be the same. Now we have tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, reading those books for free. So I'm really, I'm really grateful for the Lord that he did not make me a greedy person who goes after money. I hope soon our Chinese books will be printed too, given to Chinese as hand, not only as a file. Uh, so let the whole world see how stupid this religion is. The pagan who accuse us to be pagan, which is Islam. There's no pagan in the world as Islam. Islam is religion. They put their head inside a stone which is always worshipped as a vagina. And they claim that we are pagan, not them. Actually, we saw Zakir Naik saying literally that Islam and Hinduism is the same. Islam and Hinduism is the same. Even he called the Hindu scriptures to show you that it is exactly the same. Not only he said the same, he said exactly the same. Can you believe it? Not, he, not only he said it is the same, he said it's exactly word by word. Let, let, let us play the video for you so you can see. We are not making things up. It's exactly the same. If we ask any Muhammadan, is the Hindus are pagan? He will say yes. This is your Zakir Naik. The concept of God. Um, the best reply that any Muslim can give you regarding the concept of God in Islam is quote to you Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say, He is Allah one and only. This is the concept of God, guys. How can you believe it? this is concept? That he is the only one? And by the way, this is false. Arabic, it says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدُ Ahad does not mean he's one. It means he's one off. And Ahad was one of the names of the idols. Say so he's Ahad, is this idol. Continue. Allah, Hussamad. Allah, 
the absolute and eternal. This is false. As Samad is coming from the word Masmuda, which means the, the collective, the collector, or the, the collection. So when you have a little, the, 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 what they call it, the piggy uh, thing, you make a hole in the clay to collect your uh, coins. This is what as Samad is, as Masmuda. So the Muslim, they don't know this is an Aramaic word. So they give it an, give it an explanation by themselves. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Allah did not give birth and he was not born. That's because he's an idol. He begets not, nor is begotten. Hmm. There's nothing like him. Nothing like any idol in the world because it's a, you know, it's a piece of art and nothing like it. You know, I mean, even if I try to make a copy, unless you're Chinese, you can make it then. This is a four-line definition of hmm. Almighty God okay. given in the glorious Quran. Any person says so and so candidate is God, if that candidate fits in this four line definition. If any candidate fit in that definition, did you hear it? So if you have a God, if you have a religion, not Islam, and you have a candidate to be God, he fit with this description, he's God. Did you hear it? Any candidate, <laughs> candidate you know, he fit with this description, he's God. It fits in this four line definition. We Muslims have got no objection in accepting Did you hear it? that candidate as God. And this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures the same four points. Did you hear it? So, your God and the God of the Hindus is the same one. Muslim, did you hear it? Your God and the God of the Hindus is the same exact one. You both worship one God. It's not me who said that. This is Zachary Naik in the front of your eyes. And the video name is the concept of God. Here we go. It's in the front of your eyes. This guy, he have 2.97 million. There's 2.9 million Abdul. Nobody dare to open his mouth and say, this is wrong. Because simply it's not wrong. You Muslims are a bunch of pagans. Anyone have the same concept? He have a candidate. Candidate, he is fit to be God. This is what he said. Listen carefully. As God, and this is action and accept it fits in this four line definition. It fits in this four line. Say so and so candidate is God. If that candidate fits in this four line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. And this is exactly. What is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures say so and <laughs> did you hear it? So stop lying to us saying that you are not like the Hindus. Stop lying to us saying that you have a true God and the Hindus are false. Because here we go, your biggest shish kebab, he just admitted that Allah is the same as the Hindu God. A Muhammadan saying Jesus was a Muslim, why he was a child molester like your prophet? If Jesus was a Muslim, should be he should be a caravan rider, child molester, cheat in his wives, and take his own son wife. Well, Jesus is totally the opposite of that. Jesus was a Muslim. <laughs> Any Muhammadan have a comment? And actually, if we go in the roots, we will find that Allah, He will resurrect people from death by using the power of the beef, the power of the cow. Ah, we need to change the, to Arabic. Hold on. My keyboard keeps switching. How Allah, He resurrect people from death? By beef. This is why the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter, Al-Baqarah. Why it's called Al-Baqarah? Because this is how Allah, He resurrect people from death, by beating them using the power of the cow. If the Muslim, they will say, no, this is the power of Allah. So if Allah have a power, why He need to use beef? Many Muhammadan. And not only that, it says, and this is how Allah, he brings life. Thus Allah brings the dead to life. How? By beating them by beef. What is the connection between resurrecting people from death 
and beef. Any Abdul? Can your God resurrect people without using the beef of the Hindus? The cow of the Hindus? What is the connection? A Muslim Abdul, he is posting for us chapter 4 verse 171. But my friend, the same verses you are posting for us are proving that Allah is an idiot. Actually, I challenge you to call me. I'll read the verse for me and then people will laugh at you and it's your verse. Because the same verse says, say no trinity, is the same verse confirming the trinity, but in Islamic way. Shall we read the same verse you are posting for us? Why you did not copy the rest of it? Ah, you do not copy it because the rest is embarrassing. So let us go to chapter 4, verse 171, and then people will die laughing. Here we go. Chapter 4. The women chapter. Women is our prophet. Okay, here we go. We go to the verse you are asking us for. Did you ask for it? You asked for it. So get what you asked for. Get ready. Shish kebab time. Okay. Look how stupid this religion is. Literally, the most stupid religion is. The same verses confirming that there's no trinity is the same verses confirming that there's a three and one, and that is Jesus. Read carefully the stupid Muhammad. All people of the book commit no excuse in your religion, nor say it all of Allah, aught but the truth. Christ Jesus, son of Mary, was, between two brackets, no more, this is false, it's not the Quran, a messenger of Allah. So let us take a line, take a note. So Jesus was a messenger. Okay, wonderful. Which means he was a man. Great. Christians agree. Jesus, he have a flesh of a man. Wonderful. So is Jesus, the man messenger. Okay. He is his word. He is the word of God. This is exactly what John chapter 1, verse number 1 says. And verse number 14 says that he became a flesh. So now Muhammad is copying John chapter 1, verse number 1 and verse number 14. And then he continues saying, and he bestowed them Mary, which means he sent down. So Jesus is coming from above. And Jesus, what, what said? He said, I am from above, you are from below. He's God. And then it continued. And the spirit proceeding from him. From who? From God. So Jesus is the three. Is the flesh. Is the word. Is the spirit of God. And the stupid Muhammad says, don't say three, they are one. Have you ever heard of his stupidity? And not only that, he is not only spirit, he is spirit proceeding ing, which means the spirit which is in Christ is always proceeding from God. Do you see it? It's not created. It's proceeding. This is your Quran. The same stupid book says, don't say Trinity. Just confirm another form of trinity. By the way, we don't believe in such a trinity. But this is what your Quran is saying. It can be. Jesus himself is a three and one in the same time. He is the word. He is the flesh. He is the man. He is the spirit. The problem is, your God is a fool and your prophet is more foolish. So when you Muslim, you copy-paste. We laugh at what you copy-paste. And that's why none of you dare to call me. I stay here for six hours, seven hours, eight hours, and then where is those who who call who claim that they can bust me? Who are they? Where are they? Again, a reminder: subscribe to our other channel if you like to join us tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day before Christmas. Actually, it's going to be almost Christmas for those who live in Asia. So if you like to join us, we have the link in the in the in the first message you see when you enter the chat. Join us there, please. If you care for the topic. And remember that cha that channel is there is not really for a debate. It's to study the Bible. So we will keep the language so clean. We cannot mention anything about Islam because Islam is very dirty. We cannot mention the name of the Lord next to the name of the faith and the faith of Muhammad.
all right so i want to say thank you all for being here may the lord bless you and i will see you tomorrow in my other channel if you care to join us until then i say merry christmas and may the lord bless your life we pray for the muslims we don't hate them and we will never hate anyone just because he's a fool we are here to save them from the foolishness of muhammad from the deception of the devil muhammad so love the muslims don't hate them but fight satan a real fight never compromise the one who compromise with the devil he is no christian the one who compromise his faith is no christian muhammad is not abrahamic even the muhammadan they say that and we got them busted and you know it thank you very much for being here May the Lord bless you and see you tomorrow in my other channel, Arab for Christ, studying the Bible together. Take care. Merry Christmas. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>